I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question based on linear equations. The question here is the least of the three consecutive integers is divided by 10, the next is divided by 17, the greatest is divided by 26. What are the numbers if the sum of the quotients is 10? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let's try to understand what it really means by saying three consecutive integers. Three consecutive integers means the integers which come one after the other. For example, two, three, four, right? So when we are defining variables, we could say, let the integers be x, then the next one will be x plus one, and then we could write x plus two, right? So that becomes three consecutive integers right now what is given to us is the least of the three consecutive integers is divided by 10 that is to say x is divided by 10 the next is divided by 17 x plus 1 is divided by 17 the greatest is divided by 26 that is x plus 2 is divided by 26 what are the numbers if sum of the quotients is 10? Sum of the quotients means when you divide a number by the other, whatever you get is the quotient. So that sum means add them up. So that is the sum of the quotients is 10. So that is how you can form the equation from the given conditions. Now, it looks very difficult to solve this equation. What you can do is you can multiply each and every term by the lowest common multiple, all right, which will be 26 times 17 times 10, right? Because uh, 17 is a prime number. Well, we could do half of that uh, because we have a common factor here also. Anyway, uh, more or less, you can see, you can do 26 times 17 times 10, each term solve. That's one way you could definitely do. The other way is we can do trial and error. So I'll show you both the approaches. So let me show you trial and error first. Since we are looking for a whole number, let's look for multiples of these numbers, right? So of course, total is 10. Sum of three numbers is 10. So each number has to be less than 10, right? So let's try, if I do 17 times 2, I get 34, for example. So x plus 1 could be 34. If I do 26 times 2, I get 52, for example. So what I'm trying to say here is we could try to see some values here and then work out the example. So if I have something like 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 5 is 10. Do you get an idea, right? So we could do something like that because these numbers have to be close by. So if I do <clears throat> 26, I mean 2 times 26 now, we get 52. So what number is close to 17, closer to 52? Uh, 3 times 17. Do you see that? 3 times 17 is 51. And uh, 5 times 10 is 50. We do get three numbers which are consecutive and which can satisfy our condition of three numbers being consecutive when divided by the given numbers will result into 10. Do you see that? 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 10. So for a multiple choice question or sometimes that could be a very fast approach. But now let's go to standard method and that is take a common denominator multiply each term by the lowest common denominator so we will not go into details but say 26 times 17 times 10 is our number right so we'll multiply each term by 26 times 17 times 10 is it okay so the whole equation gets multiplied by this number 
26 times 17 times 10. So what you get here is, let's rewrite. You get 17 times 26, we get 17 times 26 times x plus here we get 10 times 26 times x plus 1 and in this case we get 10 times 17 times x plus 2 and here we get 10 is already there 10 times 26 times 17 times 10 correct that is what we get now let's open the bracket right so we can open the bracket and then find the answer right we are not factoring it further we'll just open the bracket and then we are working with very big numbers now that is the only thing so 17 times 26 let's do it 17 times 26 equals to 442 so the first term is 442 x plus this is 260 so we could write 260 x and the number itself plus 260 plus this is 170 right 170 x and 170 times 2 that becomes 340 equals to so we have 26 times 17 times 100 10 times 10 is it okay 44 200 so now we can add all the x's together so we have three terms with x 442 plus 260 plus 170 and that gives us 872 so we get 872 x plus the numbers which are 260 plus 340 600 right so we have plus 600 equals to 44 200 now we can take 600 to this side and divide by 872 right so we can write 872 x equals to 44 200 minus 600 so let's do that 44 200 minus 600 equals to 43 600 43600 and now x is equal to so x is equals to 43600 divided by 872 and that is equal to so we have 43600 divided by 872 and that gives us 50 do you see that so that gives us 50 so finally we have to deal with bigger numbers in this case, but we do get the answer following our standard method. So x is 50. So if x is 50, x plus 1 will be 51 and x plus 2 is 52, right? So that is how you could solve this question. I hope that helps. Feel free to post your suggestions and comments, subscribe to my videos and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.